Welcome back. It's still the Breakfast and Plus TV Africa. We have a first major conversation up next, and it borders on education now. Um, have you ever wondered what uh, schooling in the United Kingdom is like? We usually hear about uh, the university education, or like my friends in the UK say about uni. But um, what about the, the secondary school or the education that holds before the university uh, level? Um, UK boarding schools week is around the corner and uh, we're set to find out some more about what it means to attend uh, a boarding school or what we call here secondary school in the United Kingdom, uh, even to find out more about the education system uh, in these days of ASU strike. I'm sure parents will be thinking about that. So wh what is the UK Boarding Schools Week about? Um, glad to say we have uh, Director of Admissions and Marketing at one of the schools in the United Kingdom called Mount Kelly, Vanessa Bowles, right here with us in the studio. Vanessa, good morning to you. Good and she is also accompanied by Ian Lawrence. Ian is a senior housemaster at Haberdasher's uh, Monmouth Schools. Um, Ian, good morning to you. Good morning, Coffee. Thank you for inviting us. Yes, yes. Good, glad to have you. Uh, well, like I said to you off here before we came on, the you know when we hear about UK education, it's usually the university. Um, tell us about uh, the. Uh, is it? Do you call it secondary education in UK? Because yeah, yeah. we have a secondary system. Um, so what's the UK system like, the pre-university uh, education? It's, it's very similar to Nigeria, um, and that's one of the reasons why uh, us coming here and introducing our system to Nigerians work so well, because we know that the curriculums are very transferable, um, and we know that a lot of Nigerian families like to go to UK universities, um, so they, if they come to a UK school for a couple of years before university, they can get settled in um, and um, apply to university from us. Interesting, interesting. I'm sure it gives uh, the, the students a good uh, ample time opportunity to settle in and to get used to the system. How, how many years does it run? Uh, from what age uh, does well, the system start we, from? We represent schools here going from the age of three all the way to 18, oh. but predominantly we are, we are secondary schools. Um, so that will go, excuse me, from the age of about 11 through to 18. Okay. Um, and as I say, I think children settle in very, very quickly because of the similarities. And I think we share the same values. So um, people can feel at home very quickly, I think, in the UK. All right. Um, so let's, let's go to similarities, because, I mean, we have uh, West African uh, Senior Secondary Certificate Examinations called WASI or WAEC. Yeah. yeah. And you have the junior secondary school uh, uh, classes that go from junior secondary one to junior secondary three, GSS one to GS three. Yeah. We have the senior secondary one to three. But before that, you have the primary level from primary one to six uh, yeah. or to five in some cases. We don't have all we had before in terms of A level and O levels and all that. So what, what, what are the differences, slight differences and similarities? So I think it, it is very similar. Um, we, we do um, GCSEs, the General Certificate of Secondary Education, at the end of um, year 11, which I guess is uh, yeah, when, you, when you're sort of 15, 16. Okay. Um, okay. And I know a lot of schools in Lagos, GCI, GCSEs, international GCSEs, same thing. Mm -hmm. And then you can transfer to the UK. Um, and um, but certainly we've had pupils at Mount Kelly who've done the WIEC and have been absolutely fine. They're just at the same level. But I think it's sort of it's more the GCSE level, and then they come to us to do two years for A levels, which is when you just study three subjects. Um, so it's particularly good if you you know if you love your science and maths or you love your English and languages. You don't have to do the other one. You can concentrate on the sub, which then leads you into university. So good preparation for so, university. So you do eleven years of secondary schooling yes. yes and then you now write your you do your GCSE GCSEs that's right yeah. so you know, they'll, that. they'll take those in year 11 so they're 15 and 16 years wow. of age at that point and then they'll go on to study A levels or it could be a BTEC um, in order to prepare for university mm -hmm. okay. but I think more broadly than that it's the whole experience I think of probably coming to a, a UK school it's the whole package in terms of the sport that we can offer, the drama, the music, um, all of those sorts of things. And many of our schools, most of our schools, have a very strong Christian ethos. So it's the shared value system that I think that we can we can offer mm. in the UK. So, so uh, you've, you've given us a bit of that. Can you uh, you know give us an idea uh, more in depthly of what a typical UK secondary school is like? I mean, we used to see in the pictures of the uniform. We have uniforms here as yeah. well. So yeah. that's a similarity compared to the Americans who wear 
you know, whatever they want to wear. But w w what is it like? You talked about sport? Yes. You talked about drama? Yes. So, first of all, let's, <coughs> the, the Christian ethos, I think, is very important. Okay. So, um, at, at Mormon School, we have our own chapel, and uh, typically in the morning, um, all the students would, would attend a school chapel service, either in the week and uh, on Sundays. And then we'd begin our lessons around about half past eight, working through till four o'clock. Wow. Um, That's very similar. It's, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, yeah. the same. Yeah. And then portions of the day would be allocated to sports. So we're very keen on, on football, soccer, um, rugby, cricket, if, if you're boys, like netball, lacrosse. Hopefully your viewers out there will be recognising some of these sports, I think. Absolutely. Athletics. Um, so I, I'd imagine they're very, very similar. And we have, at Mama School, we've got half a dozen children from Nigeria at the moment who've settled in extraordinarily quickly and, and are an asset to the school. And I think that's a really key point. I think one of the reasons we're here is because for a school like ours, like Mount Kelly, we're in the West Country of England, so it's really great to have people from lots of different nationalities at the school. Um, and so whilst, yes, we have a Christian ethos, we also welcome children from all over the world. And in fact, we've got um, a super family from Lagos with us at the moment wow. who are Muslim. Okay. And in fact, the daughter is my daughter's best friend. Amazing. And one of the things a man likes to do is come and decorate our Christmas tree every year. Um, so it's just that whole shared culture and, and recognising that it... And I think, you know, the children then learn that it doesn't matter where you come from, what your faith or belief is, we're all fundamentally the same and are friends, yes, um, and that's really important. Um, let's talk about the, the uh, boarding school system. Um, I mean, we have yeah. boarding schools here. I'm sure some people yeah. will be surprised to hear our boarding schools in the UK. Uh, our boarding school system here is unique. I don't want to go into detail. So what's a, what's a typical boarding school in the UK like? So most of the boarding schools um, will have houses. <laughs> So the children live in rooms with two or three other pupils of their year group um, and obviously girls' houses and boys' houses. Um, and I think one of the great things about that, I know our headmaster is fiercely passionate about belonging and everyone needs a sense of belonging. So the children in their house, you know, they, we have inter-house competitions and all that sort of thing. So it, that, that's a nice part of school. But essentially, it teaches you... We have, we have you, the same here too. Yeah, well. exactly. Yeah. I've <laughs> seen it at CIS and St. Yeah. Saviour's and, yeah, absolutely. It's very Boarding similar. It's is, is an extended family. Yeah. It, it, by definition. So um, you're in small groups. You're being looked after by a house parent yeah. and his deputy and his wife. And so there are a, a team of people who really, from a pastoral perspective, really get to know the children incredibly well. And what is very important to us is that we maintain strong links, of course, back parents, home yeah. to parents. So we are regularly corresponding with parents, either talking on the phone or, or, or the internet, to keep parents completely up to speed with how their children are getting on and making sure that they're happy. And, and we, we form one team. It's definitely um, a three-way relationship, isn't it? Parent, so. child, school, yeah. Um, and that family ethos is the best, I think, well, it's a very powerful nurturing environment mm. in which school uh, children can thrive. Right. Yeah. Uh, uh, um, uh, you talked about how a Nigerian family. How, how well do the Nigerian students you know, fare in your school and in schools across um, I'll start with, with Vanessa. Um, well, we were, we were talking off air earlier, and I think one of the best things about Nigerian children is that they integrate. So you have some nationalities you tend to stick together a bit more, but Nigerian children come in, they join in with everything, they, they're bright, they're intelligent, they work hard, they play hard, um, and they make friends with everybody. They're, they're friendly and outgoing, and they make the most of all the co-curricular opportunities you'll always see them involved in the choir or the drama or yeah, yeah. Like, yeah i believe there's a which uh, is uh, lovely it's yeah. fantastic yes. yeah. same with you in in your experience absolutely they will join in everything but mm. i think more than that um we are interested in developing them as future leaders for sure yeah um and so we've got um several of our nigerians are prefects so they are um okay. chosen to be the the top 12 leaders within the school and we've had Nigerians who have also been head boy of the school so they they lead the school um, and they go on to uh, the better universities either in the UK or perhaps abroad Oxford Cambridge but other great universities too <coughs> and for sure um, uh, they will be leaders of the future um, you know you know moving to a, a, a new country uh, is difficult enough in terms of integration 
Uh, but if you have to now add on top of that, uh, staying in a boarding school, yeah. uh, which is, you know, with your family, that could be a different, totally uh, a, a different experience for a, a child. Um, what do you do to make sure that uh, foreign students, and not just Nigerians, but other foreign students um, who are away from their families, uh, um, you know, find it easier to integrate? Mm. Is that I think the key, well, I'm sorry. No, 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 you go. The key thing is, I'm a, a, speaking as a housemaster, so I'm a yeah. housemaster at Monmouth School. So the key thing is to help children get to know one another yeah. and equally for the staff to really, really get to know them. So I don't really like the term house master very much. I'm a house parent because every decision I make will, will be for the best interests of the child. And I think, I think um, a house is a unique environment because not only are the children from Nigeria, but we have children from Hong Kong, from Germany, from France, um, and from other countries, so, as well, of course, from Britain. So here is an, in, an incredibly powerful mix of children where they'll, they'll make friends for life yeah. um, with, with, other, with their other uh, peer groups and friends from other schools so, um, and from uh, other nationalities. So it's, a, it's a really quite a powerful uh, time within their life to, to network mm. and make a group of friends. I think the other thing is keeping them busy. Ah. Um, so as, as Ian already mentioned, you know, lessons at eight in the morning till four in the afternoon. And then at four in the afternoon, there's sport um, and there's, you know, we do the Duke of Edinburgh Award where they go off hiking and all that kind of thing, learning how to map read and first aid. And then there's choir and drama. That's very and interesting. You, so you keep them busy and then they're happy. Interesting. Yeah, definitely. Yes. When you said, uh, you know, the Nigerians like involved, get involved in activities, yeah. I said, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> those are the Nigerians need. Um, uh, so let's look at the UK exhibition, uh, Boarding Schools Week. Um, tell us about that because um, I saw so, the flyer, you know, yeah. mentioned the details and uh, why are you having this, this, this programme? So we're here with uh, Mark Brooks Education and Mark um, does a lot of work in Nigeria and has a lot of support from um, the UK Department of International Trade here who help us with um, setting up these exhibitions. And I think the real purpose of it is um, firstly for us to meet families and to families for families who are looking at the UK education, they can come and meet 15 different schools and sort of start to make a short list before they come to the UK and visit. But it's also about us um, meeting heads of schools here and working with schools. So we, uh, Mount Kelly has a 50 metre swimming pool, so we have an um, a elite swimming programme at the school. So we have been working with them um, St Saviour's Prep School and our coaches come out and run swim, swim weeks for the children at St Saviour's. Um, and I know other schools have done similar things with football and, um, you know, we, we do some stuff about um, continuing education for teachers. We invite teachers back to come and work in our schools as well. So it's sharing of good practice from Nigeria and from the UK, um, which is also very important. So we meet, we're, we're here working with heads of schools. We're not here working with agents. It's just okay. heads right. of schools. Right. Interesting. So um, who, who should attend this uh, uh, UK Boarding Schools Week? All yeah. of you. Yeah. Anyone who, um, anyone whose who's children, who they're, who they're interested in, in sending back to the UK. And then maybe, maybe they've got a firm idea that a decision that they are going to, um, their children are going to be educated. Maybe they're thinking about it and they're not quite sure. So I would encourage any parent or grandparent um, who's interested in perhaps their children coming back to the United Kingdom to come and come and see us at the fair. So we'll be at the at the Wheat Baker from eleven till four o'clock uh, tomorrow. So please come and meet us. Yes. And as Vanessa said, we. We are, you know, you get a chance to speak to the teachers, to speak to the housemasters like me, uh, to speak to headmasters. So you get a really good feel for it, um, I think. And you can um, get our details and continue a conversation, I think, over the next uh, period until um, a parent can make an informed decision. All right. And are these uh, admissions going to be for your schools alone? Uh, yeah, so the schools that are here okay, would be, the other but, are but it but it is just a, a taster. I mean, you could it, we will we will be back. Mark Brooks will be back here two or three times a year with different groups of schools, okay, yeah. and I think it's you know it's really important to find the right school for your child. Whilst on the surface, many of our schools seem very similar, they will all have different, slightly different characteristics. So it's finding the right school for your child. How, how affordable is education in the UK? Uh, in terms of a secondary school and, you know, 
up to maybe year 11, for instance. So boarding school fees are between 30 and 40,000 pounds a year. Okay. Okay. So okay. it's expensive, it's expensive, but it's yeah. worth it. It's worth it, definitely. I've had three children through the school. It's definitely worth, worth it. it. Definitely, yeah. definitely. Um, uh, and what, what kind of document should the parents who are coming uh, come with? Well, to be honest with you, they can, they can turn up at the door. Yeah. Um, a lot of parents have registered already, but don't be put off by that. So if there are parents out there who are interested in coming along uh, to the Wheat Baker between 11 and 4 tomorrow, please do so, and we'll be pleased, pleased to meet you, um, to pass on any information to you, to make links with you. And, of course, if you wish to, the next stage might be for you to come across to the UK to come and visit us. Um, we'd be delighted to see you. So the, the, the door is open. But we particularly like meeting the children, so do bring the children with you as okay, well. Interesting. Uh, um, this exhibition lasts for how many days? Two days? It's just Saturday, Saturday. Um, right. this right. time. Sometimes we come for two or three days, um, okay. but we'll be making connections and keeping up communications with families afterwards. All right. Um, what, what, what happens after the... Uh, the meet up meeting is there a follow up you know yeah so we so um, Mark Brooks will follow up with right, his team here but also we will follow up with families you know we'll follow up on WhatsApp or with emails just keeping up the communication really just giving you the opportunity to find out as much about the school as possible all right so we go over the details uh, of this exhibition um, you're seeing it holds, holds tomorrow at the Wheat Baker in the Nikoi Baker. Okay, from right. 10 till 4 all yeah. right so this is UK boarding schools week uh, Lagos, Nigeria, at the Wheat Baker Hotel, Ikoi, um, Saturday, 14th January, 2023. That's uh, uh, tomorrow. tomorrow yeah. uh, it starts from 11 a.m. and ends by 4 p.m. So they can walk in uh, walk anytime in. between yeah. 11 and 4 p.m. Yeah. Uh, you're looking to meet parents and also heads of schools as well. Parents and pupils. We and like pupils, to meet the children. The children, yeah. yes. And the heads yeah. of schools as well. Yes, heads of schools are very welcome. All right. And, um, of course, for those who want to register... Uh, what do they need to do? I think there's a link. Link here, yeah, okay. So have, that's a, but otherwise, they don't have to register. They can just, can just come, come in. Just yeah. come along. All right. Yeah. But you have uh, your link, uh, macbrooksheducation.com slash Nigeria. Yeah. Mark, M-A-R-K, Brooks, B-R-O-O-K-S, and education.com slash Nigeria. All right. Any final words from you? I'll start with Vanessa. Nigeria say ladies first. So, yeah. <laughs> well, just thank you very much for having us, and it's great to be back in Lagos again, um, and and really lovely to have the opportunity to talk to you all. All right, and and Ian. And likewise, it's just fantastic to be here. I'm really enjoying the stay. I'm I'm so excited about meeting people tomorrow. So um, I'm I'm looking forward to, to to seeing everybody at the Week Baker. Thank you. All right, fantastic. Yeah, it's been a pleasure having both of you. Thank you. And um, I think you've done a very good job of selling a, a British education and uh, the benefits to, to those watching. I mean, I wish I could wind back the hands of time. So <laughs> <laughs> I jump in, um, particularly with the extracurricular activities. Yeah. So the EPL is quite big in Nigeria. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Uh, everybody follows one club or the other. Yeah. Yes. And uh, so we are, I'm sure that uh, the kids who live here will want to play a lot of football. Yep. And uh, so like soccer, like the Americans call it. All right. So please make it make your way to the Wheat Bay Kaikoi tomorrow, um, uh, Saturday by 11 a.m., or between 11 a.m., and 4 p.m. and uh, take advantage of this program. Thank you very much. Um, Ian Lawrence, Senior Housemaster at Haberdash's Monmouth Schools. And of course, uh, Vanessa Bowles, Director of Admissions and Marketing at Mount Kelly. Thank you very much Thank for your you. time. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Coffee. Thank you. All right, we'll take a break. And when we come back, we'll talk sports. Uh, let's look at what uh, the Ministry of uh, Sport is spending as far as the 2023 budget is concerned. Stay with us.